action. The aim of the impact study originally was to look at different types of therapy for young people and to try and find out a bit more about what's the most effective way to help young people who are suffering from quite severe depression. And we had a sort of additional study which uh, was known as Impact Me, uh, where we interviewed the young people before they went to therapy the first time, at the end of the therapy and again a year later. We were talking to the young people about what would be the best way to get some of what we'd learned out there. And at that point I heard about Val and the project that she'd been working on in Cambridge with young people in residential care and it just felt like it could be a really good meet between what we were interested to do and some of what Val's team had already been involved in. Often young people find it very difficult to be um, put on the spot to be asked about how they feel and what things are like. So actually, actually working together to create something where the focus is slightly shifted has been fantastically successful with our looked after children. And I thought that talking about depression in that way might actually be really, really useful. We are um, the research team, um, so we've been interviewing families and young people about their experiences of therapy and experiences of depression. It started as a, as a yeah, let's make a film. And then we started planning, and then it turned into, ooh, this is going to be quite, quite a, big, a big job. And we couldn't do it alone. We had to get a team of filmmakers to help us. I think using a more creative approach in, 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 on this project, very much animation, film, creative writing, and, and the use of image and drawing, enable you to present data in a way that that is, that's more than you can just by writing. So for example, feelings, um, inner worlds, imagined ideas can be presented and communicated. We didn't really, we didn't all know each other and we've come together, shared some of our experiences and in four days we've been able to create something so imaginative. It also gives the young people a different experience of being part of research. As, you know, I think we all hope that this is something that um, gives them a sense of ownership over a project. Dr. Linda, take four, action. And that also that they can take away some really kind of practical skills. We've all come together as one to create something that is definitely going to change the way that depression and mental health is treated. And that was the whole concept of this and the reason why I was so determined to want to, to get involved. During the week, we're using um, drawn animation, straight drawn animation which is called Big Flippers, where people draw a little sequence um, and we film that. We did some pixelation with brown paper bags on the young people's heads, which we were boiling, so we were uh, changing the bags over every frame. And then we've been using projected loops on a white screen, which we've been filming live action shadow sequences in front of. We all worked together to make something really beautiful. And this came out of feelings that were really bad, so we felt like you were sinking and you've managed to make this piece of art. A lot of things we're trying to film, are quite they're quite complex things to get into your head, even though the end product seems quite simple and straightforward. It's all about communication, so it's about us all talking to each other, because it's such a team effort, you know. We've all been directing the scene. It really has been pure collaboration. We haven't arrived at the beginning of day one with a script. We're co-constructing and making this film with the, with the group. We're starting to look at some of the key themes we want to explore with the films. So the week's very much about, about structuring sessions and exercises to explore those themes. Over four days, we generate a huge amount of material. Um, so part of the process as a group is deciding wh what we keep and what goes into the film, bearing in mind an animation film may only be four, five, six minutes long. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one, action. Oh! <laughs> Everyone's been really open. It's nice to hear everybody's like lifestyles and what they've been going through and like yeah, it's been really nice getting to know people. I've actually never felt so comfortable with like a group of people before. It's a privilege to work with them because they they're so brave, I think, in talking about their experience and in wanting to share it and make a film. It's very exciting to watch people's skills develop. I love the way that people draw, you know, the thickness of their line or how heavily they draw, you know, anything that people put on paper is a sort of statement about themselves. We've found that there's some real talent 
in, in amongst the half a dozen young people we've had here. Um, ideas that have come really from within them that you couldn't have, you know, we couldn't have suggested. So originality. The way in which the young people have been communicating and expressing themselves here, to me, does feel different from my experience of conducting the interviews. I do think that the two sit, sit side by side and complement each other. One thing I can certainly say is I've never drank so much tea and coffee in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, I've had a lot of fun. Like, you, like for, for every holiday I just get up past like three o'clock in the afternoon and do nothing with my day. And I felt like I've done something so productive and I hope that it, it really does help people. The great thing about short animated clips is that they do grab your attention. They're very visual, they're very alive, they, they move a lot. Married with the, the voices of, of, of these young people, it's going to be a really powerful mix. I, I read something the other day that a scientific paper is read on average by about 2.6 people, isn't that right? Yeah. So, and our films and that we've made... two of them are your mum and your sister. Right. But our films have been seen so far by over 10,000 people. So I think that's a sort of a huge difference for me. It is also the feedback we're getting from the young people about what it's been like to be involved mm. and, and just how much people are benefiting of being part of the project as well. So there's a real benefit mm. to the, the process of making the film itself and then, as you say, in terms of how you can reach an audience that most academic writing would never reach.